Hi again, everyone. I'm the Cantankerous Collector. This is episode number 27. My eBay store is Death by Buffalo. That's Death by Buffalo, all one word. Um, check it out when you get a chance. I sell a lot of pop culture and comic book related stuff. So this is going to be a, a, a short video. Um, so I've been a, a fan of pinup and calendar girl art and photography. Uh, I love the, um, the great pinup art of the mid 20th century. Uh, all these great master artists, um, Aslan, Moran, Ballantyne, Dribben, Elvgren, Thompson, Willis, Vargas, McPherson, Ramos. I mean, there's just so many great pinup artists. And this includes the modern artists of the last several decades that continue to produce great quality pinup artwork and photography. The great Hollywood pinup posters of the 70s which I've always been a big fan of. So back in the early 90s, I saw images of a woman in an ad campaign that were stunning. I mean, I thought, wow, this woman is the epitome of what I think of as the classic pinup girl. She had a little Marilyn in her. Her face was gorgeous. Her smile was real pretty. Her figure was thick. Yeah, boy. And she had a sweet persona to her. Her name was Anna Nicole Smith. So she was the model for an ad campaign for Guess Jeans. And the pictures of her, are, like I said, they were stunning. And I'm like, man, we got to get this girl on some posters and a calendar and everything. And somewhere around this time, she did a cover for Playboy. She was the cover girl in an issue dated March 1992. So all of this was kind of in the early 90s. Then in 1993, she um, was named the uh, Playmate of the Year for Playboy. And that cover is just awesome. I mean, she was, she was my idea of the, of, of the perfect pinup girl. I thought she was just gorgeous. So unfortunately for me and others, um, her modeling career didn't seem to last very long. Uh, she did some modeling later on in her life and stuff. But I remember back in the 90s thinking, whatever happened to Anna Nicole? And it turns out she was active. She was, uh, d had a lot of bit parts in movies uh, in the mid to late 90s. They were movies I had never seen, so um, that was one of the reasons why I I thought she kind of disappeared, but but she was active and she was doing stuff. So in 1998, I had been going to a bunch of um, Hollywood collector shows and conventions and all type of stuff. And so I thought I would send an autograph request to Anna Nicole. And what I did was I ripped off these covers 
off two of these Playboy magazines, instead of sending her, you know, the entire magazines and stuff, I sent a couple of covers to her. And these were sent. I've got notes, not, not a lot of notes. I wish I would have taken more notes. But I sent these in 1998 to her home um, on Ashdale Avenue in Los Angeles. It's just like north of uh, UCLA. And I think it was the home that she had painted pink. I remember reading that she painted her home pink. And it, I think this was the one um, that she lived in. In fact, she moved out of this home in 1988. So I just, um, I almost missed her, I guess. And I do remember that I got these back real quick like within one or two weeks. It was, it was a real quick turnaround. You know, whenever I sent an autograph request, I'd try to make it as simple as possible. I'd just write a little note. Hi, how are you? Know, how are you? I'm a collector. I was hoping, you know, you could sign these for my collection. Real small, quick note. I'd include a Sharpie. I'd include the covers or the photos um, in a self-addressed stamped envelope folded up inside so you know they they could sign these within maybe a minute a minute and a half you know so i try to make it real easy on them and anyways i you know i heard back from her and i was uh really happy i was really happy that she did this for me i thought it was really uh nice of her you know they don't have to do this but uh here's uh Here's one of them from her February 1994 Valentine cover that she did. Great cover. Really sweet signature. Very cool pinup collectible. I was real happy to get these. And then this second one here is her uh, June 1993 um, Playboy cover, which is just classic. It's just stunning. Yeah, boy. You know, I mean, we all know she, you know, she had a lot of ups and downs in her life and a lot of drama. You know, she lost her boy, which was horrible. And it was sad. Things just ended really bad. I just, I always, I thought this was really sweet of her to do. And I was real grateful. And in fact, um, I don't think anyone has seen these except me and Anna and now you. Um, these, I put these away in storage. I just pulled them out and they God, they've been in storage for like 25 years. So, uh, anyways, I thought I'd share those. Pretty cool. Um, I got some more videos to shoot. And um, if you uh, can help me, do me a solid like and subscribe. And um, I will see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.